hi everybody and thank you for watching so i started this channel to have some accountability and motivate myself to organize my home i have decided to participate in vlogmas this year and complete this 30-day organizing challenge i found online if this sounds interesting to you please subscribe to my channel watch my daily videos as i clean my areas of my home and make 2024 an amazing year for myself and for my family Welcome to Vlogmas and Organizing Challenge Day 2 where we look at the kitchen drawers and the counters. So you can see here I do have to do a little bit more work before I can work on the counters. So my plan is to unload the dishwasher, wash all these dishes and then clean down the counters before I work on the drawers. So you can see there that I do have quite a few items on the counter that I need to clean up. And then these are the three drawers that I wanna focus on. So this one here, it is very messy. So I need to really focus on that one. That's a lot of our um, utensils. Over here is mostly our plastic wear for uh, like takeaway and all that. And then this third one here is all of our spoons and forks, which is a mess. So a lot of the cabinets have not been cleaned. So down there, you can see there's a lot of dust. So my plan is to unload the dishwasher, do some dishes, wipe down these counters, and then focus on the drawers. Step one is done unloading the dishwasher and I've put away all of those dishes. Now next step is to start cleaning these dishes in the sink. So I need to focus on that before I go to step number three, which is wiping down all of the counters. Step two is done. Now I need to focus on the counters. So there were some dishes that were on top of the stove and on the side. I've put those in the sink for now. I will deal with those later. So now I'm just putting away some of the spices and focusing on wiping down the counters. I wanna make sure that the counters are clean before I start pulling stuff out of the drawers and cleaning those drawers. My main goal was to do mostly those drawers, but I don't wanna be working in a messy environment. So I really wanted to just put away the dishes, clean the sink, and then have a clean counter, and then I can start working on my drawers. So drawer number one has all of like our, I guess, utensils, I would say. So there was some organization there with uh, these organizing trays. I really don't have any other organization uh, tools to utilize. So I'm just going to reuse what I have. They are pretty dirty. So I, I'm actually going to clean those. So I'm just taking everything out first. I'm going to wipe down 
the drawer i'm actually going to clean those um I, what would you call them utensil organizers and then um start reorganizing everything and going through to see if i have any like duplicates or stuff that we haven't used in a long time those things i can whether either donate them or um throw them away and i forgot to i i i washed these but i, I thought i was recording but it wasn't so i did wash these down and then i'm wiping them down now so i'm just putting them back and now i'm going to start slowly going through all the items that we use and trying to make organize them as best as i can So you can see me putting stuff behind me, all the items that I don't believe belong here or I don't want to uh, keep, I'm just throwing them on the side there. And then as I go through the drawers, I'm just going to accumulate them up on the counter and then either A, find a location for them or B, we're going to donate them or throw them away. So drawer number one is done, so now we're going to focus on drawer number two. And there's not much in here. Most of these are just leftover plastic spoons and forks and chopsticks from when we get to go. So there is quite, like I said, there's not much here, but I am going to take everything out, wipe down the drawers because it is a bit dirty there, put everything back. And as I start to organize the third drawer, you'll see me, I'm going to start uh, moving stuff around so that it's a bit more organized and cleaner. So that's drawer number two there. So not much that I had to do, just take everything out, wipe it down, and then I am organizing a little bit, moving stuff around, but there's not much like the first drawer. So that's drawer number two. And then we're going to open up drawer number three, which is the one that I have to do most of the work. So there's a lot of items here that I need to either keep it here, reorganize it. And then also there's quite a few items that I probably will have to throw away because they've just been there for a long time that we don't use them, especially like those filters there. Those go into like a water bottle. I really have no idea where that water bottle is. I'm just going to more likely donate those filters. So if you have one of those, um, I'm going to send it to Goodwill and hopefully somebody that has the same bottle that uses those filters will be able to pick that up. But yeah, I don't know where the bottle is for those. That's something that's been sitting in this drawer for quite a long time and we haven't utilized them. So it's just taking up space and I'm going to donate those. And then you can see me here. I am wiping everything down. And then after I do that, I'm going to put everything back and reorganize it to make it a little bit more neater and a bit more presentable. So I used to have all the reusable straws in this drawer and it was just taking up so much space. Noticing that drawer number two had a lot more extra space, I decided to put them in here. Also, there's all those like bottle uh, little pieces that's for my daughter for her um, bottles. So I decided to put those in here as well because they were just uh, making drawer number three quite messy. So I'm rearranging stuff here moving things around and then I'm going to place those in here for now and then um, yeah you can see me I'm just trying to utilize this second drawer as much as possible because it is quite empty compared to the others and as I'm going through the top you can see me finding more items to put in either drawer number two or drawer number three. So 
So now everything here on the counter I do not want, so I am going to probably put them in a bag. Um, some stuff here are trash, so I'm going to throw those away, and then anything that is usable, I'm going to put them in a plastic bag, and I'll more than likely donate those at Goodwill. So we're basically coming to the end of the video here so i am going to go back to wiping down this counter here on the left so i'm going to find homes for those items that are not supposed to be there i'm going to wipe down this counter the last thing i need to do is the dishes in the sink so those are the dishes that i grabbed fr from the stove and on the right side so i need to clean those and then we'll do a recap of what the place looked like before and then after. So let's look back at what my kitchen looked like before. So I had a lot of dishes in the dishwasher, also in the sink, and I had a lot of items here on the counter. So I really needed to clean the counters. And to do that, I needed to do the dishes. And then after that, my main focus was the drawers. So I do have four main drawers. The other one is just um, Ziplocs and stuff. So these ones here, this uh, one here, you can see it is a mess. So my main focus was to uh, reorganize these they haven't been organized and cleaned in a while so i really wanted to clean those and then also clean my counters and make my kitchen look a lot more cleaner than it usually is now look at my kitchen so it is a lot cleaner you can see there is no dishes in the sink all the counters have been wiped down so i am very very happy with the way it looks and then now let's look at the drawers so you before it was a mess and now there's still a lot of items but it is a lot neater so you can see that they all have their own place and then we'll look at drawer number two so this one here was not as messy but i have added a few more items to it from the third drawer and then yeah this is my favorite drawer here it there's a big reveal you can see the big difference here it's not all cluttered and stuff like that so i was really happy with the way it turned out so that is day number two and day number three we're going to look at cleaning under my kitchen sink so look forward to that thank you for watching